welcome back to the SU TV preview show. As we look ahead to this week's game against Aston Villa on Friday, we'll also be hearing from Andre Brooks on his debut in the Premier League. We'll hear from striker Cameron Archer, but first, let's catch up upon the Chelsea game. Moving on to our game against Aston Villa, they're doing really well this season. What are your thoughts going into it on Friday? Yeah, um, another huge match. Uh, Villa being the dark horses this season, incredible manager. Seems to have got all their players on the same page. You know, They lost Tyron, Tyron Mings, which everyone thought was going to affect them. They've gone from strength to strength. Um, obviously, their striker, Ollie Watkins, um, I know him from, and I watch his, his career closely because he, he broke my record at Brentford, um, uh, the league goals, and so I kept a close eye. I know he was very close to joining Blades a few years back, so that's um, been frustrating to see him blossom at Villa, but, you know, blossom he has, and he's going to be a real threat. And when they've be, beaten teams of the likes of Man City and Arsenal, how do we need to approach this game? Well, so far, all, all we've seen is positive you know the boys have been on the front foot they've been really good compact shape together when when defending um villa ask all the questions they have the high intensity they have the high press um and they've got quality on the ball so it's going to be a massive ask but you know the boys it would be further down the line with training under chris and understanding what what the manager wants so I, i'm expecting us you know it's not going to be an easy match but i'm not expecting us to be passive i'm not expecting us to sit back and just try and soak everything up and hope just to to get one chance and score i think you know we'll be trying to pose our own threats and our, asking our own questions and obviously robinson will also be back for that game as well do you think that's important to have him in that back line of course he's been outstanding this season but obviously getting Robbo back, it means you know, he's not guaranteed to walk back in. The person who fills his boots uh, will be trying to, to keep the shirt. But to have someone of his ability, it, the managers get got options now. And hopefully there'll be a few more injuries back as well. And since Wilder's come in, obviously we've seen this really attacking starting lineup. Who would you like to see in that starting eleven? Uh Carlos Saba. <laughs> no. Um, the, the, Whoever the manager picks, because obviously the workload the boys are playing, um, he might not be necessarily the team that we think is the strongest team. The manager's taking into account everyone's legs and how fresh. And, you know, I think he'll want a lot of legs against the likes of Aston Villa because they are such high demands of you. So, you know, we got to see who's there. But I like the attacking formation. I love seeing Willa Sula in the team. Um, Andre's been incredible. It's... You, you just don't know where, where they're going to be, whether the manager wants to rest them or, or, you know, but going forward, I think it's really exciting for us all because you were at the Burnley match and it just it's been chalk and cheese since that game. The energy that's been in and the belief, you, I've said, just walking into the club as, a, as an outsider, there's a different feel. 
and it's like the, the headmaster's here and there's authority and belief and you know Chris has been here and done it and everyone's now you know the boys have got the January window right around the corner you want to stay at this club and be part of it so the performances will be showing that and playing Premier League teams like Aston Villa who are doing so well how important is it for for players like Brooks and Asula to shape them a little bit more and get that experience and mature a little bit because obviously they are they are young players. Yeah, oh uh, well, we we saw the the benchmark against Liverpool. The the top teams it's a bit easier to know what's expected. Uh, you know, you have to give your all and be fully committed against Liverpool. For me it was the the match against Brentford was a better indicator. The boys, it's not as high glamorous game and it's a game where if you don't approach it correctly, you can still get whooped. But Villa, again, the boys know what's expected. You know if you're not at 100%, you're coming off three or four uh, with a three or four nil loss. So Brooksy uh, and uh, Asula, they're premiership boys now. You know, it's not like they're they've lucked their way into the team. They, they, of that ability, their performances deserve the chances and they've got to make sure that well, we stay in the team. It's not like we're the youngsters so we're the first off. No, the manager's picking on performances and hunger and everything. You keep up your performances and you keep showing the hunger, the manager will stick with you. And also looking at those younger strikers and forwards that we have been putting in the team, Sometimes you can see some are lacking a bit of goal confidence, I think, and a bit of box confidence. As your experience as a striker, how can you gain that confidence going into the box? Well, you know, I've been out, you know, my mum used to call me Carl Sahara a lot because I went on many a, a goal drought. Um, so, no, it, the formation also as a striker, if you're playing with one up top and two wide, I played on the wide role and it takes the pressure, the goal pressure off you because... When you're up and you're I'm there to score, that it's goals, goals, goals. When you're playing wide, the pressure isn't so much about goals, goals, goals. It's about the team and setting up chances. So I feel, you know, with Cameron Archer, when he's played to the left, he's looked a different player. He's been reinvigorated. And, and I just think the manager knows how to, to get the boys playing. Um, you've got McBurney coming back. Uh, I don't feel... Our striking options is a problem. I think the manager's got so many different variations of striker. Hopefully, Riam will be coming back soon as well to give another option. But I feel the strikers, that they're a good group. You're spurred on. You need to perform and you need to be at least creating chances to retain your place. Um, and with Willisula, I feel almost every game he's caused a problem and deserved his, his place. Cameron Archer's been outstanding and now we see how McBurney gets on again under his old manager. So it's really exciting looking at the strikers. Well, let's hear from one of our strikers now, Cameron Archer. What was the appeal of joining Sheffield United? Because it was, a, I imagine, a big wrench leaving your boyhood club, Aston Villa. Um, obviously it was, first and foremost, the Premier League football. Um, I think that's what I needed in my in my career. Um, obviously it's just the fans when I played there last season with Middlesbrough. I just thought, yeah, it's a good club this. Um, big fan base and and just wants to come here and do well. Was it strange leaving the familiar surroundings of, uh, of a club that you've been at you know, all your life really? Um, I think it was difficult at the time because uh, I wasn't playing so I wanted to go elsewhere and try to play some games but Obviously, when you've been there a long time, it's, it's hard to leave, but I ended up doing it. and I don't regret my decision because uh, I'm playing football now and I'm happy. Uh, so, and we'll see what the future can hold. So, you go back to Villa Park this week. What are the, uh, what are the thoughts and emotions going to be like, do you think? Have you thought about it much? Not really. I don't want it to get to my head, really. Obviously, we're there to win a football game, so... Um, We'll work hard on the training pitch and whatever happens, happens really. When the fixtures came out, did you look and say, yeah, December, we're going to Villa Park? Mm -hmm. You must have done. Yeah, yeah, I, I did, I did. Uh, but, you know, I was taking it game by game and obviously it's around the corner now, so I'm looking forward to it.
joining me now is Andre Brooks. Andre, thank you for coming on SUTV. But let's talk about your Premier League debut. How was that moment for you? Um, incredible moment, to, uh, to be fair. Um, when I found out, it was on this pitch actually, it was before training, he came up to me and said, it's on Liverpool, isn't it? I was just walked off, so I was just confused. And then he named the team and I was in there, so it was an incredible feeling. And obviously against Liverpool as well. How did it feel in that tunnel, in that moment, stood next to the likes of like Salah walking out to that pitch? To be fair, I didn't really think about that. I just focused on myself, really, and just getting the performance out of the team and the boys, which we did. And obviously you're a local lad as well. How did that feel, you being here all this time in the academy? You started here when you were eight. How did it feel to finally walk out at Bramwell Lane for your pro and Premier League debut? Yeah, it was a special feeling. Always going to be a special feeling playing for my boy club in the Premier League. It'd be one of the biggest stages in, in football, so special feeling. And who was there watching? Um, my whole family, mum, sister, uh, granddad, auntie, everyone, everyone really. And they're all Blades, aren't yeah. they? Nice. And obviously growing up a Blade as well, who was your role model at the club? Um, I'd say Billy Sharp. I'd, I had the chance to play with him, so I was, that was always good. And obviously a um, big player in the changing room and helping everyone out and getting us through the, through the games last season. It's a shame to see him go, but it's, it's just football. So how are you feeling going out to uh, maybe play and starting again at Aston Villa? I hope to start, of course I hope to start, but obviously the boys are ready, ready for every game, so we just take it game by game. And how's it, how's it been in the dressing room since Wilder's come back in? Oh, the boys are full of confidence now. Like, the uh, like gaffer's come in and told us what we need to do. I've just stuck to the script and just done it on the pitch. And it's shown us Brentford and Liverpool. And who do you look up to most in the team? I say all of them, really. All of them, good, good lads, help me out on and off the pitch. So, yeah, it's literally all of them. And how does it feel for you only being 20 years old, starting in the first team in the Premier League? Well, it's a big ask as a young player, but I've done what I needed to do and helped my team out. And what's next for you? What do you want to achieve next? Just starting every week, every week in the Premier League, because it's a big stage, show what, I, show what I can do on and off the pitch, and yeah. Well, Andre, thank you for speaking to us here on SUTV. Well, now we're going to give you a glimpse into our Secret Santa Christmas video. Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. This is Austin, Gus, Ali, and Vinny, and Vinny's going to be giving us presents today. Thank Chris, you, well, Sava. Welcome. Hey, give us a Santa, like, Give us that ho ho ho. Yeah, give a ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> now look in the camera and say that. Ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, you your car, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it is good is that thing. Air <laughs> it is good thing. <laughs> I celebrate Christmas by training and then going to a hotel and staying over and getting prepared for the game on Boxing Day. <laughs> it's not a lie though. I'm being honest. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I'm a professional brother, I ain't got time to be eating all that Christmas dinner that Austin's eating, bro. Oh, I'm captain now. <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> In Naruto! <laughs> Is that, I don't know. Naruto? Naruto, yeah. What's that? You don't know. Anime? Yeah. You put it on, Anime bro. Anime guy, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 put it on. Are we tired? Wait. But you know, you never see this first time, man. Oh, Help no, me. It's funny if it's not yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, Whoa! <laughs> I, 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 I thought it was a... Well, that's everything for this week on the SUTV show, but please do join Carl and I next week for our Christmas special ahead of our Boxing Day game back at the lane against Luton.